We are ready to begin the design process. And of course, this process is going to start with wireframing out the web design that we're intending to create. And of course, this wireframing process is going to start inside Adobe Illustrator. So if you're following me along, go ahead and fire up Illustrator. As you can see, I have Illustrator ready to roll here in front of me. And when we start off this design process, when we start off wireframing, there's a few settings inside Illustrator that I want to go and set up with you first, and then we'll actually start uh, beginning this uh, wireframing process. So we're going to get our brand new blank document set up as well here inside Illustrator. In fact, let's go and do that right now. I'm going to head up to the file menu here and then, of course, down to new. If you're following along here, you can, of course, hit Command N on the Mac or Control N on the PC side. And the first thing that I want to do here inside the new document dialog box is I want to set up the dimensions. And right now I happen to be in the points unit of measurement. So I'm going to switch that over to pixels. If you know anything about web design, you know that a lot of web design revolves around the pixel unit of measurement. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set my width to be 960 pixels and the height. I'm really not sure on the height. I'm going to throw in, check this out, 2000 pixels. There we go. Now, the layout that I want to build, it's going to scroll up and down, of course, as we saw, but it's going to be a fixed width layout. That's why I'm going with the 960 because I want my my web layout that I create here to fit inside a browser monitor that would run a minimum of 1024 by 768. If you know about your browser monitors, your monitor resolutions, that sort of thing. I don't want to dig too heavy into that that issue. But anyway, this is what I'm setting up here. So 960 by 2000, we're in pixels. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pop into advanced here down at the bottom, bottom left hand corner. I'm going to switch my color mode from CMYK to RGB because everything in web design is in the red, green, and blue color space, right? So go ahead and do that. And once we're ready, we can go ahead and click on OK. And voila, there's our fantastic new long and skinny document ready to go. OK, so this is where we're going to be doing all of our, our wireframing, all of our design, all that great stuff. Okay, now a couple of other things that I want to throw at you here. First of all, I want to make sure that my layout indeed is in the RGB color space. So I'm going to head up to the file menu and then I'm going to go all the way down to document color mode and just double check that you are indeed in the RGB color space. Okay, wonderful. I see a check mark beside mine. That means I'm good. Okay, now the final thing that I want to do here, and this is where... I know I'm a little quirky this way, but I know I want to build in the RGB color space, but when I'm actually working with color, creating new colors, mixing colors, this sort of thing, we'll get into this as we build out a design. I prefer working in the CMYK color space. That's cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. So check this out. I'm just going to pop into my color panel way over on the right-hand side, this guy here. And again, I know this isn't an illustrator course that we're, we're working on here. But of course, there is going to be some, some Illustrator involved here. So when I pop into my color panel here, and by the way, if you can't find your color panel, head up to your window menu and look for color. You'll notice that we have R, G, and B sliders here. But I don't like working with these sliders, even though my document is in the RGB color space. So what I'm going to do is from the top right corner of the color panel, I'm going to switch to CMYK sliders. Now what happens is the color panel switches over to cyan, magenta, yellow, and black sliders, but my document is still in the RGB color mode. So it's sort of like I've only switched over the color panel temporarily, which allows me to create my colors and so on. All right, so there we go. We pretty much have everything set up and ready to roll here inside of Illustrator. We're ready to start wireframing out our layout. So let's dig into that. 